This video is on how I make a nose cone. This is a Harbor Freight oil funnel. A lot of oil funnels like this that you get at parts houses, they have a, a curve to them and it's just not ideal for a nose cone. This, this is a, a totally straight taper. I mean this, this part doesn't curve like the other so this is a Harbor Freight oil funnel. It makes an excellent nose cone. And uh, I cut the cut the the spout off, and uh, I glue a, a washer in there with uh, epoxy, and that's that's just uh, that's what basically holds the whole nose cone together. Uh, so I, I make a, a central rod for it, and the thing is. See how that doesn't stick up I, I've centered these one at a time to where they come up tight this one here is a little too um, too far forward so if I back it up a little now it's it's out there a little bit but not quite enough I want a full nut out there so another Yeah, that's that's about it right there. So what I would do is is lock that in place. And once you get all those positioned, uh, you will put epoxy this is the type of epoxy I like it's a two-part uh, this is fairly inexpensive compared to JB weld it's it's like a, this might be like $15 or something I, I really it's been a long time since I bought it but uh, I use this for a lot of stuff on my rockets it's it's a really good inexpensive epoxy But uh, once you get these positioned, you put put a ring around here of epoxy, and then you put it in there, and it makes marks in there where you can see where you might want to put a little more. So when it finally comes time to assemble it, you uh, you just glue everything in there, put a, put a nut on this, and this 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 bottom one here. I have glued a piece of uh, small drain pipe here just just as a way of having something to uh, to glue things to and so what you'll end up with see so you you cap it off you just cover that nut with uh, epoxy and then where you have that lip there on your body tube you have one piece of uh, plywood for a base and you do the same thing down here uh, 
and what you do is you you glue strips of uh, maybe some ripped one by uh, pine or something and you glue those strips in there you might even need some more rings in here for support but once you get a kind of a, a framework of those strips in here then you coat it with uh, epoxy not epoxy um, this is a uh, this is body body filler it's like half the price of body putty this is probably like 20 bucks worth of body filler and uh, body putty would be like 40 bucks for a can this size but it sands real easily uh, it's just a lot easier to work with so uh, th this is what I use to to smooth off the outside edge of it and it works really good but uh, see this out this this ridge here I mean this it's just a piece of uh, pipe that fits inside the airframe and uh, yeah if you didn't have these pistons here you could have like a maybe a, a central piston if that's what you wanted but uh, I mean, this could be longer, I guess. If, but uh, it's it's fairly easy to make a a uh, a nose cone. Uh, I mean, I I think I might have added some. I think I might have drilled some holes in here and filled it with like uh, anchoring cement, just for a little extra weight up here. I think this is probably about a probably at least a 10 pound nose cone because it doesn't hurt to have a little nose weight that's about it